What's up guys, Dave here, back from thegadgetbook.com and today we've got a video showing you the next version of Mac OS. So there is a good chance the new version of Mac OS will be announced at WWDC alongside iOS 16 and iPad OS 16. All developers will get a beta straight away and then it will be pushed into a public beta and the release will come out with the new Macs over in the fall. So there are loads of rumours and speculations that the next version of Mac OS will be named Mac OS Mammoth. So Mac Monterey was full of small refinements rather than big changes. We expect to see a huge redesign in this version of Mac OS with a flexible menu bar that can shrink and grow at will. Both of the right and left sides of the menu bar would collapse into a small pill shaped box that would float on top of your content rather than being locked to the corners. So it does make more space for the windows and it does make sense Apple would do this as the new Macs have a notch. So we are also likely to see new window buttons and split view options for the Mac. There are new split view options that are going to be coming to the iPhone and also the iPad and we expect Apple to put this into the Mac operating system as well. These expanded split view views will be accommodating up to three apps side by side. So another feature that will be coming over from the iPhones and the iPads is widgets. More specifically for Mac OS, desktop widgets. The widgets are hidden off to the right in your notifications. I hardly use widgets on my Mac right now, but if they was on my desktop, I'd be using them a lot more. And as iPad OS and iOS is getting interactive widgets, I do think you'll be seeing interactive widgets with Mac OS very soon. So it's also said that the app library is going to be replacing Launchpad. Now the app library wouldn't need to take up the entire screen instead of floating in a translucent window above the dock. Your apps will be organized that they are on your iPhone or your iPad and categorized from the App Store. You can also always go and access all your applications using the Finder as well. We're going to be seeing stock applications being updated such as the weather app, the music app and much more. So Siri and Spotlight are also getting an update. You will be able to have Siri suggestions in the Spotlight as well so you can go ahead and play music, open your downloads or even message somebody. So it does look like a lot of features from iOS and iPadOS are coming over to the Mac. iPadOS is getting a huge update as well so make sure you go ahead and check that out. A link will be in the description. So all supported devices will be listed on the screen right now. Let me know what you think of Mac OS Mammoth. If there's any features that you want to see in future updates, let me know in the comment section. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the like button, guys. We do appreciate it. And we'll catch you all in the next video.